Okay, here's the uh, how to install Windows 10 on the Hipstreet W7 tablet. This is the smaller in size, seven or so inch display. It's got the 16 gigabyte onboard storage with about maybe nine gigabytes of usable space. It also has a recovery partition and the one gigabyte of RAM, but it is a quad core. It's 1.3 that boosts to 1.8. Um, uh, so you will need a micro SD card and have it plugged in there, boop, and you will use that uh, to help uh, offload some of the settings and that that you have on your tablet. And uh, I would recommend a 16 gig or larger. You will also need a USB stick. And this USB stick, you will only technically need about six gigabytes, uh, but a eight gigabyte will do nicely. I, uh, you will use the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. You can just search for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. You will, I'm sure you'll find it, one of the top results. And uh, you will uncheck the Use Recommended Settings when you're using the tool. When you say I'm creating one for another computer, um, do this on another computer, by the way. And you will say uh, the 32-bit version of Windows 10, and you want it to go onto a USB stick and not a ISO and let it uh, download and install that to your USB drive. I'm using a hub, using a nice StarTech, um, and I'm also using a USB hard drive as backup in case we have issues with the touch screen, as Windows 10 does not have the touchscreen drivers for this uh, out of the box, or at least it uh, did when I was doing my research originally. All right, now uh, what you'll do is you'll go into Windows 8.1, uh, with the hub and everything connected, your USB, sorry, your SD card will be plugged in here. You'll have your USB guy there plugged into your hub, your OTG cable enabled into your hub, uh, and uh, you'll basically launch uh, your Explorer uh, from desktop. You'll find the setup file that is on your USB stick to start the installation of Windows 10, and it'll start the upgrade. There will be one point at which it will ask you uh, about what files and things to keep and uh, I also said don't worry about going online to get the newest versions so you can go uh, stuff later after you get the Windows 10 to install you don't need to take up any more space on this thing and uh, you'll come to a point where you can't go too much further because it'll say you don't have enough space to install Windows 10 that's when this you this little SD card here comes into play uh, you will it you have a button that you can click that you can say well or choose to offload the data to an external drive or device and uh, you should have two items show up you should have that uh, USB stick show up and you should have your SD card show up and uh, drop down that box from the word none and select the uh, SD card and then hit refresh and you'll be able to continue your install um, you will want to uh, pick the SD card and uh, I had issues being able to select the SD card so I used the keyboard to use the down arrow key to select the SD card and then I was able to continue on and uh, continue with the installation. The installation will probably take about 10 minutes that's about how long it's been going for me now and it looks like it's about to restart soon. Um, I did go into the BIOS if you're curious to know how to go into the BIOS I just simply tapped the uh, escape key and I originally set the uh, USB stick here to be the bootable device because I was playing around with it uh, before making this video and just simply upgrading from within Windows. So once this reboots, we um, we may not see it go back into Windows. It may try to boot off of this USB stick at which I'll simply remove the USB stick, uh, allow it to boot back off of the internal uh, memory device, and then we can plug that uh, memory stick back in again as soon as it starts to boot, boot up so that uh, it can continue with its uh, installation as where it left off in, in case it needs to still use the media off of that device. I don't see it uh, blinking its activity light anymore so I believe that it's probably good to go and uh, won't need to uh, read from that USB drive anymore but uh, we'll try that out either way. And uh, let's see how much longer we have here to see if we can get a successful Windows 10 installation on this guy. There we go. It is now restarting.
So it's probably going to attempt to try to boot off that, but we'll see. Okay, so it is trying to boot off of it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to see if I can just simply hit the escape key. And it just goes to shell. So what we're going to do is we are going to unplug this temporarily. We are going to pull down the power button. That is the whole the power button, right? Yeah, okay. Actually, I'm going to type in exit first. Okay, so I typed in exit. That should kill that. Bang. I've removed the uh, USB stick. It's going to, as soon as I start to see the beach ball effect, I know that it will attempt to start up Windows. There it goes. I can safely plug this back in again now in case it needs it. no activity on that upgrading windows so um, I'm going to end this video now uh, I hope that this uh, helps you guys get Windows 10 uh, installed onto your W7 I'm sure you're gonna flood uh, this video with comments I don't know how long the uh, um, I'll be able to keep up to date with uh, responding back with you guys because sometimes I have videos that stay on YouTube for years and people will ask me comments five years later about things but I'll do my best to try to help you guys out uh, this will probably be garbage by then uh, in five years <laughs> we'll have Windows 10 running on our watches but uh, yeah anyways uh, thanks again for watching the video and uh, I hope that I've uh, helped you somewhat